morning, you guys. Welcome to the vlog. Can we just take a moment to talk about how it is the middle of September and it's still hot. It is very humid right now and honestly, I just, I feel so, so gross. I cannot believe it is mid-September and this pregnancy is going so, so fast. I just cannot believe it. I cannot believe we are in week 25. But today I just wanted to have a little chat, have a little catch up because I know in my last vlog, I did my sort of like Sunday reset trying to get myself feeling like myself again because I lightly touched upon the fact that I got COVID. So I just wanted to give you just a quick update on what's happening now. And also today I want to pop into Boots because there is this new serum foundation that I want to try in a video. And then the biggest thing that I want to do today is go through my clothes. So. I've gotten to the point, I probably reached this point about six weeks ago where only 10% of my clothes fit. I do have a few maternity items, but the last time I tried them on, they were still way too big. So I think I might do, I think I might do a little try on of them again and see where we're at now because obviously the bump is bigger. I'm gonna go through my clothes. Hopefully that'll minimize how much time it takes me to get ready in the morning and get dressed. So yeah, that is the plan today. They didn't have any. They had the stand that obviously housed the new product, but I doubt they would have sold out by now because obviously there's like hardly any people in my town. So I have a feeling they've set it up ready and they're just awaiting stock. So uh, I'm gonna have to order online or order it to the store. I'm just so impatient when it comes to wanting a product and I can't get my hands on it that day. So I'm gonna head back now. I'm gonna do some editing. And honestly, I'm just gearing myself up ready to organize my clothes. So this is the situation so far. This is just my jumpers. I know for a fact there's probably two items in here that fit and the rest don't. And then I have a few tops in here. Some of these are obviously still summer, so I need to get rid of those. And then I have a pair of shorts here which definitely do not fit. Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Or when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? So at the moment I have three piles. I have the yes, this will fit, hopefully, over the next few weeks. These are, I don't know if they fit, so I'll have to try them on. Obviously, they're just PJs. I'm not quite sure if these are going to fit. And then this is the part where it's like, it's definitely not going to fit. I'm just going to go through the wardrobe and see what fits, I think. And also, I really want to try on the maternity clothes that I bought quite a while back. Because like I mentioned earlier this morning, they didn't fit at the time and it's been quite a few weeks since then and I definitely have a bump now. So. This is maternity, so this definitely fits. I can wear this with jeans or leggings and it's very stretchy so I have definitely a lot more room to grow. So these are the dungarees. The moment I found out I was pregnant I definitely had to buy a pair of these because dungarees with a bump is like the cutest thing ever and i feel like it fits in some parts as soon as i try and pull this up it just pulls my bump up and it's uncomfortable i just don't think this waistband is meant to be on my bump so i have a pair of the maternity jeans on now I do feel a little bit weird in the crotch area because i just feel like it's a bit too bunched up but these definitely fit better than the dungarees I feel like with the dungarees it's expecting my bump to be a lot higher because as you can see 
I feel like my bump is quite low so maybe that's why they don't fit perfect and then these are the pants these are just black pants with these ones the start of the trousers is definitely underneath my bump and then I feel like the elasticated waistband is really high over my bump. I'm not quite sure, I just don't like the material of these clothes. You would think maternity clothes would be really really soft but honestly I feel like these are just the opposite. This is the dress that I absolutely adore. I'm too hot to try it on right now so I will insert an image of what it looks like on but honestly these type of dresses are so nice because with the transition it's still hot but it's becoming autumn it's just like a really fine knit and I just love how much it hugs my body so it's actually quite a few hours later now I have literally just been stuck in a editing hall for the past few hours but I realized I said I'd give a pregnancy update this morning but I obviously never did yeah so I thought I'd sit down and just go through like a quick 25 week pregnancy update what is happening in regards to the last update i gave but if you have watched my last vlog i lightly touched upon the fact that i got covid when i was i think i'm not sure if it was 22 or 23 weeks pregnant but of course that can take a toll on you regardless of whether or not you are pregnant but i feel like Obviously with pregnancy, it can just bring on a lot more worries, both mentally and of course physically as well. Basically all I got told was that because they don't really know what happens during pregnancy when you have COVID and they weren't really as clued up that I would get referred to a specialist, I didn't really get much information after that to be honest i wasn't really told anything else i think a couple weeks later i received some letters from the hospital and basically i've been booked in for three different growth scans so i recently had my 24 week midwife appointment is it 24 weeks or 25 weeks i'm not quite sure but yeah i recently went for my appointment and she just confirmed that it was because I had COVID. They just wanna put some extra measures in there just to make sure that she of course is okay. During the whole period, I have been feeling her move and kick. The other week, I actually got to saw her move and kick. So that in itself is definitely reassuring. Of course, going through COVID is, I feel like, honestly, you guys, I want to speak about this because half of me feels like I'm a fraud and I can't talk about this. And then the other side of me is like, there's so many people out there that go through the same thing. But of course, if you know my journey and you've been watching my videos, you know that I struggled with infertility and trying to conceive. You almost feel like your life is on hold and you can't plan anything and you're just you're just mentally stuck in the same place. And then obviously with the pandemic coming along, that also took a mental hit and I just, I felt as if my world had stopped. So going from that extreme measure and going through obviously the infertility treatments and um, consultations with my doctors and stuff going from that and thinking that you will never get pregnant to automatically now being 25 weeks pregnant I feel like my world had just stopped and now someone's pressed the fast forward button and then also going through, you know, dealing with uh, COVID, honestly, I feel like mentally I am just, yeah, I am going through the emotions at the moment. I'm just overwhelmed with everything and yeah, so I just wanted to share that, just share what's going on in my mind at the moment because obviously I feel like a lot has happened over the last two years and especially now over the last 25 weeks but yeah other than that 
in regards to being 25 weeks pregnant, I of course hit a few more symptoms and I feel like they all started like as soon as I hit 20 weeks, bang, I had all the other more well-known common symptoms that you get with pregnancy obviously constipation heartburn acid reflux and of course my absolute biggest one is back pain so i have actually been referred for physio because i have really bad back pain in the lower right hand side and it gets to the point where if i sit for a long time or if i lie for a long time and then i get up it's almost as if i'm crippling through the pain before my body is okay again and i can sort of walk sort of like normal ish yeah since then obviously in my last vlog i mentioned i was debating whether or not to get a pregnancy pillow because they're just too big but as you can see behind me i bought one but honestly it was like the best decision i've ever made because my back pain has dramatically reduced yeah those are just a few updates with my pregnancy so far cookies i'm in the mood to have something sweet and it's been a very long day so i thought i would make some cookies i do have a recipe for this it's on my instagram so if you don't follow me already go and check out my instagram where you can get the full recipe but i'm just making my traditional chocolate chip new york style bakery cookies they are so so good i feel like baking cookies is like the perfect balance for me when it comes to relaxing, ending the day when it's been really busy and just obviously treating yourself at the same time. But also I have been craving sweet stuff throughout this whole entire pregnancy. Me as a person before I got pregnant, I obviously like sweet things. I absolutely love chocolate and I love baking. I started baking quite a lot since lockdown, but yeah, now I'm craving sweet stuff all the time. Yum. Usually I put chocolate chunks as soon as they come out of the oven to, you know, fake the aesthetic, but I use them all in the mix. So I've had to use Lint Lador balls and as you can see, they are melting, but it works. I'm so excited to eat these. 